Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will be understanding transaction states. Okay, so once a transaction starts, it goes through multiple states. I'm assuming a transaction of updating a salary by 10%. Okay, so first one is read S, then S equal to S plus 0.1 S, then write S. So it has three operations. This transaction, this whole transaction has three operations. Okay, so once transaction start, once start, it is here, right? Now, once the operations are running, these operations are running, it is in active state, always in active state. So all read, write, here it is reading, here it is writing, here it is uh, arithmetic operation, so it is performing. So all operations, when these operations are perform being performed, it is in active state, okay? Once all operations are finished, the transaction has to end, okay? So then it will go to partially committed because it will start commit here. Once commit start, it will be at partially committed stage, okay? Because even after this value has been written, okay, this value has been committed, it's in RAM, okay? It's, it's initially in RAM. So now let's say when the value is in the RAM block and hardware fails, then what will happen? Because RAM is a volatile memory, it's not anything stored yet in the hard disk. So this value will be lost, right? The whatever is now committed will be lost. So until this value is stored back to the hard disk, it will be in partially committed stage, okay? So even if it is it has been committed and it is in partially committed stage, it can abort, right? Because due to hardware failure, this is due to hardware failure. So due to hardware failure, this can be aborted and transaction will be failed. So it will come into failed stage. Okay. Similarly, when this schedule, this, uh, sorry, this operation was running all these operations, then also the DBMS or the system can realize that this transaction can no longer proceed so it can be aborted okay so from active stage also it can come to failed stage right now once this is from ram it is written to hard disk once it is written to hard disk it will be committed okay so once it is committed then it is safely terminated transaction will be safely terminated with the completion of transaction and once it is failed or aborted then this transaction will also terminate, but this transaction will be failed completion, okay? So these are the states of transaction. The transaction is active when it is performing its operation. Once it completes it op its operation, it will go to partially committed stage, okay? When the value is still in RAM, it has not been committed yet. It has not been stored it yet to the hard disk. Once it is stored to the hard disk, to this hard disk then it will be in committed stage okay once it is committed transaction will automatically terminate it and similarly it can transaction can fail so for example due to hardware failure it will fail after partially committed stage okay and once it fails after partially committed stage it will automatically be terminated well so this is all about the states of transaction now in the next lecture we will study various problems with the concurrent execution of multiple transactions okay so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching